Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and show you how I'm going to clean this Dooney & Burke pre-loved bag. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So today I am going to be cleaning both the interior and the exterior of this Dooney & Burke bag. Uh, for the interior, I'm primarily going to just use a vacuum. <laughs> and then for the exterior, I'm going to use a combination of products. So I'm going to use this Apple leather cleaner, uh, Apple leather conditioner, and then if the leather is still looking a bit dry after cleaning it, I'm going to use this Black Rock leather conditioner, uh, which is a lot thicker than the Apple version. Um, I'll have all of these products linked down below if you would like to also use them on your bags. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just vacuum the interior of the bag. Alright, so the number one thing that I really want to do um, right now is just vacuum the inside of this bag. The woman who owned this bag before me, um, she said she had pets and you can definitely see some pet hair in the bag, which honestly really grosses me out. So that's the first thing I want to do if I'm going to continue to be touching this bag. So I think I got a good part of all of the dirt out of here. Um, you know, one place where dirt tends to collect or any like hair or lint or anything is in these corners. And you can kind of see that here, there's like a bunch of dirt in that corner. So I will try to get that out. It's really hard to get stuff out of this bag because the, like it's hard to maneuver the lining. There's no way to like pull it out, you know. Oh, gross. <laughs> you see all of that and that pet hair? That's really gross. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to get this off as well. So I'm going to switch to a different attachment on my vacuum, something just a little bit sharper <laughs> to be able to get into those corners. So I think the corners are mostly clean now. Um, there's still a little bit of dirt down there, but nothing very dramatic and definitely no pet hair left, which is really what I was going for. Um, so I'm happy with this side. And I'm just going to repeat that process on the other kind of side pocket as well. So I'm working on the other pocket and I just wanted to show you again how much kind of grime collected in that corner of the lining. Pretty gross. Uh, you know, sometimes I forget how gross uh, used bags can be, especially when you have pets. Because honestly, I don't have pets and I think when you get a bag that has a ton of pet hair in it, it's just pretty gross. Um, so... You know, usually when I'm cleaning a bag is when I start to regret my life choices. Alright, so here's the after of that corner. You can see no pet hair left, although it does still look a little bit kind of dusty. But I think that might be a stain because I went over it with a vacuum a couple times and nothing kind of moved. So the outside pockets are done. Um, and I think they feel relatively clean. Like, I don't feel any dirt down there. So now I'm going to do the main section of the bag. I'll just take out the air paper that I had in there stuffing it. And you can see again, there's just a little bit of dirt down there. Um, the other thing in this bag, I don't know if you can see it, is that there are some stains, um, like down there. You know, you can see those stains. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do to try to get those out. I'm a little afraid to try any kind of like stain removing product because this interior is really red and I don't want to take away any of the dye, if that makes sense. So I think, you know, I'm going to do my best to try to vacuum this out. Oh, the nice thing is, I guess, that I can pull this out, which I didn't realize. Um, so I'll do my best to try to vacuum this out, and you can see some of that pet hair. You can see a little bit of just like lint. Hopefully that's lint and not darker pet hair. <laughs> Gross. But yeah, so I'm gonna vacuum this out, and then I will think about um, how to tackle these stains. Okay, so I've done like the main section of this interior pocket, but I need to get like in here in this slip pocket and then also back into this zip pocket. Although the zip, no, the zip pocket does also have some dust and pet hair in it. Um, so yeah, just gonna do that and hopefully this will <laughs> start to look a little less disgusting. It's kind of hard to get all the way down there so I'm gonna try to flip this out some more. Yeah, okay, that's nice. At least I can do that without having to Try to maneuver my vacuum all the way on the inside. Do you guys see all of that? 
Ugh, gross. The more I push, the more dirt I find. All right, so I'm gonna consider that pocket done. I am gonna take one final look just to see if I knock anything out when I push it back in. Um, but that is what that pocket looks like now. Definitely much cleaner and less pet hair. Uh, one thing you can see is that this pocket does seem to be uh, kind of detaching itself from the lining. The stitch looks like it might be loosening, so that's a little bit concerning, but hopefully it won't be major wear over time. Now I'm going to tackle this pocket, which is not the zip pocket. I didn't realize this bag had so many pockets on the interior. Um, and then, oh, you can see all of that down there. Alright, so the interior pocket definitely is cleaner. I'm kind of wondering if I knocked any dirt out onto this main compartment. And it does look like there's a little bit down there, so I will get that at the end. But now to move on to the zipped pocket. So I've done the interior pocket, and I think it's pretty clear of like hair and dust, although there are some stains down here as well. Um, yeah, and you know, just to let you know, I've been going at this for about 20 minutes at this point. So if you're like wondering how much work it is to buy a pre-loved bag, sometimes it's a lot. Uh, sometimes you really do have to put some elbow grease into it to make it feel usable. But, you know, it's trade-off, right? You trade off paying a higher price for uh, a little bit of elbow grease. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do for the interior for now. I'm going to do a little bit of reading on the internet about what I can do about these stains on the bottom. Yeah, it's actually really hard to show you on the bright lights, but they're pretty obvious in real life. Um, that one's pretty big. Maybe you can see that one. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I'll think about what to do about that, but um, for now, at least, the interior is free of pet hair, which makes me feel a lot better. The next step is going to be to use the Apple Leather Cleaner on this bag. Um, I chose to use Apple Leather Cleaner rather than, um, you know, some from Coach or other brands because uh, some of the other leather cleaners have alcohol in them, which can really dry out the leather, and as far as I know, um, Apple Leather Care does not. Now before I, um, you know, apply this all over my bag, one thing I did last night is I tested it on a discrete section of the bag. So I actually cleaned a little bit of the bottom of the bag to make sure it didn't cause any discoloration or, you know, hurt the dye in any way. And it totally didn't. So I feel comfortable kind of rubbing it all along the bag. But I would say that before you apply any kind of product to your bag, you definitely want to test it, especially when it's a pricier bag or like a nicer leather bag, you don't want to accidentally harm the leather. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to shake this up. Uh, it came with a cleaning cloth, so I'm going to just apply a little bit on the cloth. And then I'm just going to rub it all over the bag in very kind of soft circular motions. Um, I don't want to rub too hard because I don't, like I said, want to do anything to the dye. Um, and you'll see that I am getting a little bit of dirt on here, but nothing that dramatic, which is great. Um, so that means the exterior of the bag wasn't super dirty, which I uh, am happy about. The bottom of the bag, when I did this last night to test it out, the bottom of the bag was pretty dirty. Um, I did get pretty big black streaks on the cloth. Um, so I didn't know if that was like actual dirt coming off the bag or if it was the like a dye kind of coming off. I don't know if I can show you on the cloth. Yeah, like something like that. Big black streaks and I was like, hmm, am I accidentally removing the dye from this bag? But yeah, so I'm just going to do this all around the bag, um, maybe once, maybe twice, and then I will, um, wait for it to dry and apply leather conditioner. And I will say also, before I did this, when I first got the bag, uh, I didn't have the leather cleaner. I was like, you know, I just didn't have it, so I ordered it off of Amazon. But while I was waiting, I uh, did kind of wipe this bag down with water, um, just like water on a paper towel, very lightly rubbed it down to try to get anything off of it because it did have a very strong smell when I first bought it, so I was trying to get rid of that. I just wanted to show you everything that's coming off of the handles. So I did use some leather cleaner and just kind of rub along here. And this is everything that's coming off. Now, again, I don't know if this is actual dirt. 
um, or if it's like the dye of the leather slightly coming out. Um, the handles did look pretty worn. If you've seen my unboxing video, they did look pretty worn when I bought the bag, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of this is dirt, um, but I also kind of, you know, I don't know. I'm surprised that it's so dark, so I would think that some of it at least is dye. Okay, so I am done with the cleaner. Um, it does look a little bit better to me. I don't know, maybe it's just all in my head. Um, so I'm gonna wait a couple minutes just to let it make sure everything dries, um, although everything does feel pretty dry already. And then I will um, use the conditioner. Uh, I will say, you know, I got a lot more on this rag than I expected in terms of dirt or dye again. Um, so I'm glad that I got the cleaner. Usually I just kind of skip the cleaner, use uh, a paper towel and water, um, but I am glad that I did try a little bit something different um, to make this bag feel a little cleaner and a little bit like mine. Um, so one thing I did want to note is that uh, you should always kind of realize that there's leather in little bits of the bag that you don't think about. So like I did clean these areas here, this like leather trim, especially because this is a point where you might touch the bag a lot. It might have a little bit more dirt just if you're kind of um, putting your hand in and out. All right, so now for the apple conditioner. And um, like I said, I think the apple conditioner is a little bit um, lightweight. So I do think I'll probably go back in with the black rock just to make sure the leather is very conditioned um, and, and you know has all the moisture that it needs. Um, so I usually kind of dab it on a rag and it does say, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, um, you know, use the product liberally. But I don't want to, you know, over condition the bag and make it kind of sticky. So I am going to just kind of do light little taps everywhere and then rub it in to try to make sure that I don't over condition the bag. Um, I have once, I think it was with my Gucci wallet. I did use a little bit too much leather conditioner um, and my my item was like tacky uh, for a little bit. And, and that was, you know, not a great feeling. So I just want to make sure that I don't do that again. All right, so I'm done with the Apple leather conditioner. The bag does feel a little bit damp. Um, I did, you know, make sure to get into all the crevices, including the handle, including the shoulder strap. Um, so I am going to just wait a little bit of time and make sure that the bag dries. And then I'm going to feel it and see if um, it needs a coat of the black rock or if it's good the way it is. Um, because again, I don't want to over condition. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that if this was a different kind of bag, if this was like a, a vintage coach bag, one thing I would also do is take some Brasso, uh, which is um, cleaner for brass hardware, and just kind of clean up the uh, you know brass hardware, basically make it shinier. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure whether this is brass hardware. It does have some scratches in it, and the bottom, I don't know if you've seen my unboxing video, but the bottom feet do have some silver metal showing through. So I don't want to take Brasso to this in case this um, metal actually isn't brass. Um, because that can really kind of screw up the metal and really, you know, just basically turn it, you know, silver, but also patchy. Um, so I am going to let this dry. I am going to restuff it with new stuffing um, just so that it doesn't dry in like a weird wrinkled way um, because the leather does tend to soften a little bit when you do le use leather conditioner. But otherwise I'll let it dry and then I will see if I need to use black rock. I restuffed the bag with air paper, so now it is standing up. Hopefully this will allow it to get some of its original shape back because I do think it really softened over time and it's having a hard time kind of standing up. Uh, so hopefully it will continue to stand um, and kind of get some of that structure back. Okay, so this bag has dried all night. Um, it, does, um, it does look a lot healthier, the leather. Um, it looks like it's more moisturized. It certainly looks cleaner because of um, the fact that I got some of the dirt off of it. The handles look like they're in a little bit better shape than before. Um, I'm like on the fence about whether it needs more conditioner. I do have this, um, like I said, black rock leather conditioner that's much more heavy duty than the Apple one. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like on the inside. If I hold it upside down, you know, nothing really falls out. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to apply more conditioner to this bag because it is already looking kind of shiny, but it does, I mean, it doesn't really feel dry either. So I think I'm going to hold off on the additional conditioner um, because like I said, I don't want to accidentally make the bag really tacky and, and gross feeling. Um, so I think this is kind of the final product of how the bag is going to look for now. I will say it still does have the smell that it had when I got it, which is this like, it just smells like someone else's home. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to get that out. I don't know where it's coming from, too. It might be the interior. It might be the exterior. Um, I might try some of the tricks, like uh, leaving baking soda in a, in a Ziploc bag inside the bag. 
Um, I have already tried the trick of wrapping it in packing paper, uh, which can kind of soak up some of these scents and odors in a bag. Um, but that didn't seem to, I mean, it helped a little bit. Like the smell is definitely less strong, uh, but it still does smell like, you know, that smell. So um, that, I think, is my progress for now. I am happy with how it turned out. I know it feels a lot cleaner to me, at least. Um, so maybe I will start using this bag. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if you have any tips for getting um, smells out of bags. And I will see you next time. Bye.